As early as next week, people flying here into the U.S. will have to show a negative COVID-19 test within 24 hours of departure instead of the current 72 hours. This is just one change the president announced today as he tries to combat the Omicron variant. Western Mass News reporter Brisetta Landa Verde joins us live from Bradley after getting answers on the potential impact on local air travelers. Brisetta. Yeah, well, good evening, Chris. This timeline will impact many travelers here at Bradley International Airport. Now tonight, we're getting answers on what this will cost you both in wait times and in money. Thursday morning, a second case of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron was detected in the country. In response to growing concerns about the new strain, President Joe Biden is putting updated COVID-19 travel protocols in place. The mask mandate on airplanes and other public transportation will remain in place through March 18th. In addition, anyone flying into the U.S. will have to provide a negative COVID-19 test within 24 hours of departure. This is a change from the previous three-day window. Doreen Coakley Rodriguez, the owner of Doreen Going Places Travel tells Western Mass News these new testing policies could cause some hurdles for travelers. The biggest problem seems to be is are they going to be able to accommodate them to come back into the United States. Coakley Rodriguez says some international hotels and resorts offer on-site testing, but it can be costly. Now the price can vary. They can run depending on the hotel um, and the amount of time. You're looking at anywhere between uh, 77 and 150 a person. She says those prices might change with the new timeline, but the biggest concern with Thursday's announcement, making sure passengers have access to rapid test results before boarding. That's going to be a big issue. Before you needed a full PCR test, right? And a lot of places didn't, you know, wouldn't let you do the rapids. But now it seems like a lot is changing for that. Coakley Rodriguez says airport COVID-19 testing could also become clustered. Lines are going to be crazy. Are they going to have enough tests? Meantime, one Springfield resident who hopes to travel to St. Lucia in March says on-site COVID-19 testing at his hotel will be on his checklist before buying a ticket. That will be one of the requirements upon me uh, booking this trip is that I want to stay on a resort that um, will offer the tests on-site so that whenever I need it, it will be available to me. Now, these new testing rules will apply as early as next week to both U.S. citizens and foreign travelers entering our country. Now, President Joe Biden also says free at-home COVID-19 testing may be available for free starting next month. For now, reporting live at Bradley International Airport, Priscilla Verde for Western Mass News.